Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Kevin Dowling. I'm the, C I'm the CEO of CARTA. Uh, CARTA makes portable mapping systems. Uh, we don't need uh, infrastructure or beacons. Uh, and while we don't need GPS, it's an important factor in being able to do long excursions through portable mapping. So we don't need the tripods that uh, many people use for their later data. Uh, we simply uh, map by walking around or driving around or flying around. So all of these pr provide the capability of uh, showing that our system can build maps in real time. And so let's take a quick look at a couple of these. No, I don't see this uh, changing here. Uh, here we go. So this is a uh, track of um, the, the trajectory with dropouts. So this is GPS, but of course when you're in urban canyons, also when you're in um, uh, d dense areas where you have a lot of uh, terrain that uh, doesn't allow a good signal, uh, you can be in a GPS denied environment. Even within a city under a tree, as shown here, and you'll see in a moment, uh, you lose the GPS signal. So it's really important to us if we want to geolocate and geo-align the point cloud that we've created by walking around or driving, that we be able to fill those gaps in. And so one way to do that is not only to use the GPS, but also combine it with the LiDAR information that we've provided. And so we go from dropouts, and this is an uncorrected trajectory showing both the uh, GPS track combined with the uh, LiDAR-based mapping system. And then this is a corrected trajectory. So this is driving along city streets using a combination of the LiDAR mapping capability of CARTA along with the GPS capability of MLID. So the MLID's reach system is able to correct uh, the track and not only locate the point cloud on the planet, but also to align the point cloud correctly. And so this is the actual map created with that. So here you see the trajectory, corrected trajectory plus the LIDAR information, so you're seeing a complete street map. This is all created in about 10 to 15 minutes of driving through an urban area. And so you can see all of that. This is the same trajectory shown from a different view. You can see the houses and the buildings that surround these areas in great detail, but everything is now geolocated. And it's geolocated because of the MLID uh, reach system. Finally, this is um, an example where See if I can uh, get the signal here. There we go. So this is that same trajectory superimposed on Google Earth. And you can see the alignment is quite good. In fact, it's very good. It's within several centimeters of where it needed to be. So the nice thing about this is now we've, in a few minutes, we've been able to drive this course. We've been able to generate our own trajectory, use the MLID GPS, GNSS system, to correct that trajectory and fill in the gaps that we had. And we've been able to put that on uh, a Google Earth in the correct location based on that geographic information. Finally, this is an interesting aspect to that same uh, trajectory that we just showed. But there's a particular intersection here that we had to cross several times. And so typically when you see a LiDAR-based mapping system crossing the same point multiple times, you end up with drift. And that drift will often exhibit itself as ghosting or double registrations, or in this case, even triple registrations. But once corrected using the GPS, uh, that intersection is clean. This has been an intersection that's been mapped three separate times by a car passing through that intersection, building that LiDAR map. So we've been able to show substantial correction and alignment and geolocation and alignment of that point cloud due to locking in the GPS capability here with the uh, MLID reach system. Our system is called Stencil. You can see it over here on the uh, table to the, s to the side. And the Stencil, in this case, is comprised of a LiDAR, a feature tracking camera. There's an IMU, a processor, a lot of software. And then finally, the MLID reach system attached to the top and co-located with the system to provide that GPS uh, correction with the, uh, with the LiDAR data. So it's a complete system in one easy to use package. It can, as I said earlier, it can be carried, flown, or driven very easily. And we've seen many applications of this. Any questions or uh, I don't know if we're moving into the next uh, demo. Okay. All right, great. All right, great, thank you.